Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about having a Scorpio Sun and Gemini moon in a natal chart. Now, I'm going to elaborate and expound on that. What I'm talking about is having that Sun Moon combination in a chart, having a Scorpio Sun and Gemini moon. Now, the basic character, uh, which is the Sun, in this case, the Sun being Scorpio, can be very resourceful, resilient, willful intense, empowering, and probing. Now, when you look at the, the moon, uh, the moon is the unconscious side of the person. The sun represents the conscious side. Now, the unconscious side, which is the moon, in this case, the moon being in Gemini, can be a loquacious, uh, versatile, or contradictory, verbose, uh, restless, immobile. And I'd say that the moon in Gemini can be an exceptionally restless placement because the moon itself is associated with restlessness and Gemini of course can be very restless so anyway um, this person may bring um, that Scorpio um, intensity into something Gemini related it could just simply be driving uh, it's, mo it's mobility uh, news communications uh, dexterity doing uh, work even as a mail ca uh, carrier as some examples or some you know communication field such as data or satellite communications and the Sun in astrology uh, reflects our basic wants and the Sun in Scorpio uh, wants power control uh, to transform go beyond the surface of uh, superficiality and subterfuge um, Gemini moon uh, needs the moon is about our emotional needs and the Gemini moon needs to communicate um, assimilate and uh, disseminate information um, they need to uh, express their clever cleverness um, mobility and even games of mental agility as some examples now the true self which is the Sun in this case the Sun being in Scorpio can be very uh, incisive passionate and relentless now the inner self which is the moon in this case the moon being in Gemini can be vivacious mercurial superficial lively and talkative and the sun in astrology is about our drive and motivation and the person um, you know the sun in Scorpio may be driven and motivated which is the sun into make a major change or transformation which is Scorpio and may do so having the Gemini moon it could be in a very uh, vivacious and spirited uh, Gemini manner um, <clears throat> excuse me now an adjustment uh, may be needed uh, but there is an inconjunct aspect an inconjunct aspect is 150 degrees I use a three degree orb let's say if the Scorpio Sun is at 12 degrees and the Gemini moon is at um, say 11 degrees that would form an inconjunct aspect and inconjuncts in astrology can often be about adjustments they can reflect too much or too little of something and you know having a Scorpio Sun you know could be about looking too deep which is a Scorpio Sun wanting to look too deep and um, you know Gemini Moon could be superficial could be too much going just skimming the surface and not going deep enough into things so there needs to be you know could be a need for uh, equilibrium and balance between the two energies in that case now the thing about um, this too is I mean when you look at the um, you know the Sun in astrology um, represents the biological father and if you have um, you know the Sun in Scorpio the biological father may actually be a Scorpio Sun Moon or Ascendant or embody those characteristics and having a Gemini Moon the Moon represents the mother in astrology so the mother may actually be you know, a Gemini Sun Moon or Ascendant or embody those traits um, I have a Gemini Moon and, you know my mom was not a Gemini Sun Moon or Ascendant but to me in my perception of her she you know had gem you know embodied some Gemini like traits like being very mercurial and fickle and changeable and loquacious um, maybe even restless uh, mobile moving around a lot and um, you know it's just uh, 
you know how I may have seen her but you know the thing about you know, when you uh, the thing about this too again it's about the per perception of these people so, so somebody with a Scorpio son may perceive the biological father um, as somebody you know that's um, you know resourceful resilient empowering incisive and deep but at the same time may perceive that person as somebody that's overly um, intense you know, fixated obsessive um, vindictive and vengeful and having the Gemini moon you know the person may perceive their mother as somebody uh, that's loquacious uh, versatile um, uh, cerebral um, could be um, you know, a person that may be um, you know restless and you know, dexterous and might also see the person as somebody that's overly mercurial fickle you know, changeable um, you know, um, maybe even uh, you could say um, you know on the negatives contradictory to some examples and the thing too about this of course you know naturally I mean with most sun moon combinations you have a strong disparity between the sun and moon energy and in this case is certainly no exception because the Scor Scorpio is very different than Gemini um, you, know, you have you know, Scorpio is about you know, looking very deep going beyond subterfuge superficiality um, can be obsessive with things relentless it's a fixed sign it can be very willful but then you have the Gemini moon on a more conscious level it can be more mercurial changeable restless um, may lack uh, persistence it does, they may not have the best attention span on things so it's a very you know strong contrast between you know these um, these two energies and the thing about this is let's say I mean if this makes um, you know an out of sign you know opposite uh, opposition aspect um, you know, let's say if you have the Scorpio um, Sun at 29 degrees and Gemini moon is at 2 degrees that would form an out of sign opposition aspect and that would increase I would say the propensity for divorce or separation between the biological father and uh, mother and um, you know the thing about this is is that a lot of you know the sinistry with those people naturally can be predicated and dependent on uh, you know their individual sinistry between their own charts so um, but anyway uh, the thing about um, you know this is as well you know when you have um, you know, those combinations it could be a person that may bring a lot of that emotional intensity that Scorpio Sun into that you know, into communications I can remember um, I had a you know former friend that was a Scorpio Sun and Gemini Moon and he would bring you know, he was very talkative and loquacious and he brought you know it seemed like you know, a lot of that intensity into the you know Scorpio intensity into um, you know those uh, communications I mean he um, he was somebody that was very you know set on what he believed in when he was speaking to me, but he was very um, you know much more talkative than the typical you know uh, Scorpio Sun you know personality. And anyway, it's just um, it's a I would say this is a very interesting you know combination to say uh, the absolute least, and certainly the Gemini Moon gives the Scorpio Sun more adaptability and flexibility um, you know than the typical person with that um, Sun sign a lot of you know this is predicated dependent on you know just the whole chart in general the person you know um, you know has let's say a preponderance of major astrological energy and fixed signs they're still going to be a very fixed you know as far as their general you know nature goes and there'd be even with the Gemini moon the person may be you know, somewhat maybe intractable and most uh, um, and other people likely would have to make you know, the compromises in relationships as an example but anyway people that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment until next time Edwin Leonard saying stay well